first thing I do is check which rows and columns have the most numbers in them. In this case, row number 2 already contains all numbers except for 2, 9 and 6. When I check the adjacent squares, I can see that number 9 is already in rows number 1 and 3, so I must write the number 9 in the middle row. So now I have left numbers 2 and 6. Number 6 is already in column number 7, so I can't write number 6 in square number 3. Therefore I must write it in square number 1. Now only number 2 is left, which I write as the last number in row number 2. The same process is applied and we check the rows, columns and squares with the most numbers in them. We can see that column number 2 is almost done apart from numbers 1, 4 and 8. Number 8 is already in square number 1 and I can't use it for the square below because the number 8 is already in row number 6. Therefore, I write number 8 in square number 7. Column number 8 is the next one, which is quite full. I'm only missing numbers 2, 3 and 7. Because numbers 2 and 3 are already in square number 3, the only number I can use here is number 7, and I have numbers 2 and 3 left. Because number 2 is already in row number 4, I can only use number 3 here. And therefore, number 2 goes into the last empty box in column number 8. When I look at square number 3, I can see that the numbers missing here are 1, 4, 6 and 8. Because number 6 is already in the adjacent square in row number 3 and also in column number 7, the only box available for number 6 is in the corner. Next, I can see that number 4 is already in column number 7 and so the only box available for number 4 is in row number 3. If I go back to column number 2, where numbers 1 and 4 are missing, I can see now that because number 4 has been used in square number 3, I must use number 1 in square number 1, and number 4 will therefore logically go into the last empty box in column number 2. Let's stay in square number 4. I can see that number 9 has already been used in the adjacent squares in column number 1 and row number 6 and so I have to use number 9 in row number 4. As for number 9, I can see that in the middle squares it has been used in rows number 1 and 3, therefore in square number 6 it can only be used in the middle row. In row number 5, the only missing number is 2, which I can't use in the middle square because it is already there, so I must use it in the only other empty box in this row, which is in square number 4. In row number 5, I am missing numbers 1, 7 and 8. Because numbers 1 and 7 are already in column number 5, I can only use number 8 in the middle box. So now column number 5 is almost completed. I am only missing numbers 3 and 5. Number 3 is already in square number 8 and so I can only use number 5 in this square.
and number three goes therefore in the last empty box in column number five. Since number three has already been used in row number one as well as column number three, only one box in square number one is available for number three and that is in column number one. When I look at row number 8, I can see that only three numbers are missing here, but their positions are not clear, so I can't write them in any boxes yet. Let's move on to square number 4, where numbers 1, 7 and 8 are missing. I can't use number 8 in row number 6, because the number is already there, and so it must go in row number 4. Now we have numbers 1 and 7 left. Because numbers 1 and 7 will be in row number 6, they can't be used in the same row in square number 6, and therefore must go in row number 4. Considering that number 1 is missing in square number 3, and will be therefore logically used in row number 7, we have to use number 1 in square number 6, row number 9. So now I simply put number 7 into the same square, column number 7. Staying in this square, I can see that only numbers 2 and 5 are missing. Number 2 is already in column number 7, and therefore I use number 5 in this column, and number 2 goes in the last empty box in this square. In the last column, numbers 5, 7 and 8 are missing. Numbers 5 and 2 are already in the bottom row, so I can only use number 7 in the box in the corner. Apart from numbers 5 and 8, which we know we will have to use in the last column, the only numbers missing in this square are 3 and 9. Since number 3 is already in column number 7, I can only use number 9 here, and number 3 therefore goes in the bottom row of this square. Now, if I look for specific numbers, for example number 9, I can see that it has been used in all squares but square number 7, and so I simply put it in the only box available. In row number 4, only numbers 4 and 5 are missing now, Number 4 is already in column number 6, and so I must put it in column number 4, and therefore number 5 goes in the last empty box in this row. In the middle square, I can see that the positions of number 3 in the other squares only leave me with a single box available for number 3, and that's in column number 6. In the same square, I use number 6 in row number 6, because it has, it has already been used in rows number 4 and 5 in the other squares. The same applies for placing number 6 in square number 8. In square number 8 only number 2 is missing now, and because it has already been used in the other squares in rows number 7 and 8, I must put it in the bottom row. In the bottom row only numbers 4 and 6 are missing now, and because number 6 is already in column number 1, I write number 4 in column number 1, and then number 6 goes in column number 3. In square number 1, numbers 2, 4 and 5 are missing. Numbers 2 and 4 are already in column number 1, therefore I write number 5 in the empty box in square number 1. Number 4 is already in row number 3, so I write it in row number 1, and now number 2 goes in the last empty box. Number 2 is missing in square number 2. It has been used in rows number 2 and 3 and column number 4, so I write it in the corner of square number 2. In the same square now numbers 5, 7 and 8 are missing. Numbers 5 and 7 are already in row number 1, so I write number 8. In square number 3 are missing numbers 1 and 8. I write these two numbers in the right position by simply checking the adjacent squares. In square number 2, numbers 5 and 7 are missing. Number 5 is already in column number 6, so I write it in column number 4, and then number 7 goes into the last empty box in the square. Now I use the same procedure to place into the right boxes numbers 1 and 7 in the middle square, numbers 1 and 8 in square number 8, and numbers 5 and 8 in square number 9.
In square number 7, numbers 1, 5 and 7 are missing. Number 1 is already in row number 7, and so I write it in row number 8. Number 5 is already in column number 1, so I write it in the column number 3. Then I write number 7 in the last empty box in this square. The last thing I do is put numbers 1 and 7 in the last two empty boxes. Done and dusted!